So check this out. I'm here in uh, downtown Chicago with uh, a guy named Neil that I just randomly met one day. Oh, there we go, there's Neil right here. Last time I was here uh, with my girlfriend, Samantha, I just saw Neil playing some congas, or bongas, 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 bongas. bongas. And I uh, just asked him if I could film him, put, ended up putting him in an episode of Once a Stranger, uh, a Once a Stranger episode, and I uh, hit him up. We stayed in touch, and uh, so we're just hanging out, and I want to, you know, see what it's like being a street photographer here in downtown Chicago. So we're at a really exciting point. We're at Worker Park, right? Yes. We're in Worker Park. Yeah, Worker Park. And uh, Six Point Intersection. And so I'm just going to film him taking photos of people and uh, understand what it's like inside the mind of a street performer and uh, why Neil chooses to take the shots that he does. Excuse me, mind if I take a quick portrait of you? It's an awesome scene. You look fantastic. Okay, so I got something very short to say as far as street photography probably most other things in life is J-B-D-I. So like Jedi, but without the E and with the B, which stands for just bloody do it. Thank you. Why'd you choose that? Uh, because I, I like to take photographs of, of workers. Because of workers, they're always in action. They're doing things, so when they're doing things, it's like they just create this, they're creating interest, you know? So, that's why I shoot it. What, what, what is it? It's water. Can you tell me what they're doing? Yeah, they they taking all the old cement out. Uh-huh. We start pointing and putting bricks, new bricks in. He put new bricks in at the top. Yeah, he's grinding all the old, old mortar out yeah. and he's going to tuck point it back. Whoa. So mortar, you don't want to breathe that in? No, nah, no. Nah. Freaking awesome. Woo, it's dusty. I could, I could smell it, I could taste it. Yeah, putting yourself in this element too, it kind of, uh, it, it forces you to stop and actually feel what they're going through for a yeah. minute. Yeah, yeah. Man, that was awesome. So much respect. So I had my settings on, I was just going back and forth between 1,000 and 2,000 of a second. Yeah and like F8 or higher, so it's very sunny there, so. Yeah. Thank you. Such a nice light. It's cool that people actually like are okay with you, you know, coming right up to them. There's, a, there's also an element of, uh, a little bit of appreciation on their end. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. oh, thank you for noticing me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, yeah. If I knew nothing about photography and they come up, photographers coming up to me to shoot me, I would love it. <laughs> like, yeah. It's like, what do you want me to do? You want me to pose? <laughs> I would love it. Hey, there we go. So what got you into street photography? Uh, it was uh, it was my last employer. Uh, the, fam the family that I cooked for. Yeah, the husband would always watch YouTube videos on photography, and he would have his photos like streaming from his phone to his TV, and it was just like slideshow. And um, I started, I was like into watching his YouTube videos. And when I went home, I would watch the same ones. And then the algorithm would push like street photography to my feed. 
and it was basically from YouTube videos. But it started from my last employer. Really, really good, really good family. They're from India. Oh, cool. I met them in DC. And they moved here, then they moved me out here. So, I love them. I, I would have talked to him, but... He's getting on the bus. Yeah, it's... I, I'm, a, I'm assuming the way he dressed like that is because of work. Yeah. But he looks sharp. Nice, like, was it leather? Yeah. Leather bag? I got so much respect for the leather briefcases, <laughs> bags, you know? Like, the leather, like, uh, doctor's bag or pill bag? Yeah. Respect. I respect it, man. <laughs> so what are you looking for when you're, uh, when you're looking to get that shot? What are you looking for? Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for, in general, just anything interesting. But to be an ultimate photo, it's like something... Like, look for irony or humor or just weirdness. I like when the photo's weird. That's good composition or weird composition. That's what I look for. Weirdness or... <laughs> so... I mean, it takes some guts, man. It takes some real guts <laughs> to just get up in, in, in people's uh, space. Yeah. Yeah, that, you know, it's for the audience too, for me looking at your photos, sometimes I cringe a little bit <laughs> because I know what it took to get that shot. And I know that you didn't ask him, well, sometimes you don't ask, like you did in, in the, you know, in regards to the last girl. Yeah. <laughs> but I know, I know to get that perfect shot, you don't ask. Yeah, you don't ask. Yeah. You don't ask. What are you yeah. working with? What kind of camera? Uh, Fuji X Pro 3. Um, crop sensor. It's a 23 millimeter lens. F2. Autofocus. Pretty basic, but it's all I need. High quality images. Easy to use. It's quick. So I like to. I want to take pictures like Bruce Lee, like a ninja, like quick. <laughs> like if I see someone, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh. <laughs> Jeez, look at him. He's just standing in the middle of the road like nothing ever happens. Yeah. Some people get pissed. It's okay. Let's just See, one thing up. about street photography that I'm starting to notice is you just, you do what it takes to get the shot. Yeah. And Neil's got no problem standing in the middle of the street. Uh, I don't really care. <laughs> Some people get pissed, but... I mean, it's just a photo, ain't nothing gonna happen. So, yeah, yeah. But um, I don't wanna piss people off, but some people get pissed off. I just, my, the interest in this photo was the colors. Yeah. So the man's hat is red, there's red on the bench, and the, guy, the man's shirt is green, and there's green in the crosswalk. So that's a nice color match. Yeah, yeah. So. I like the, uh, I like the gorilla style of making it happen. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it's a green light. Even if it's a green You're light. You're still gonna hold up traffic for a I second got, to get that dog got shot. Got it. <laughs> it may or may not come to fruition. Yeah. What made you decide on your outfit? Street photography video. <laughs> what do you? What's your story? I see a lot of bird and a lot of squirrel. You feel, what do you do? I'm oh, just microphone. I, I, I see. I see them all the time. Uh, <laughs> nice. They gotta eat. They gotta eat. That's right. They gotta eat. <laughs> all right. You guys have a good day. See ya. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Dude, that was money. That was money for both of us, man. Oh man, it's got amazing shot. You got amazing footage. Got yep, hanging out with my favorite kind of birds. Your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> it's a spirit animal. I'm so freaking stoked about the shots that we got today. In just a few hours time. Super, yeah, three super hours. Hot, super hot sun, very, very bright. A lot of photographers don't come out in this kind of light, right? They say the light's too harsh. I say F that. No such thing as bad light. 
like we said in the beginning of the video, yeah. you are a braid dancer. Yes. Can you give us 15 seconds? 15 seconds. Sure. All right, here we go. 15 seconds. Do we need, do we need some music? Go my gear. Go my gear. All right. Turn it up so everybody knows that I got the good thing. I'll show you how it goes. Turn me loose till the sweat drips down my shoes. I'm gonna make a believer yeah. out of all of you. <laughs> Top won't stop lighting it up. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. All right. That was street photography in Chicago. Yes. With Neil in Wigger Park. Yes. Till next time, Holmes. Till next time. Until the bell on the schoolyard ring. Pop, bang, drop it back. Pick it back up, then I'm dropping it again. Cause I'm tearing it up like.